my friend John. Hello. Guys, hey, what are we doing? What's, it, what's in there? We're planting. This is lime, hydrated lime. Keeps uh, the blossoms from uh, falling off, and it keeps your tomatoes from getting blossom end rot. And and you don't want that. That's a black spot on the bottom of the tomato. Didn't Takes the pH up to 7.0. That's where it should be. So my dad used to say it sweetens the ground. So it's yep. more than that. Is that how is sweetened defined? That's pH. pH. Yeah, it's just okay. another way of saying. Bringing the pH up to neutral. So I know our, our soil here is more acidic, right? A little bit, yeah. Now, can you bring it too far over the side so it, it's uh, alkaline and by giving too much lime? Yeah, it usually, you know, just from doing it for 50 years, I usually guess pretty good. Oh, you're putting fertilizer down. Yep, and... tri triple 10. So it's magnesium, potash, and Nitrogen? And nitrogen, yep. Nitrogen's for the growth of the plant and the other are for the health of the plant structure and all the rest. Now that the lime and the fertilizer is in, he's going to mix it together. He's called blending it in. And how far apart do you put them? Two feet. Two feet? 24 inches, yeah. So that's like two foot lengths. And they should all be pruned if we have to prune them. And why do you take off the bottom leaves? That promotes top growth. The canopy, that gives you a nice canopy, uh, protects them from the sun and then you get the top growth. Because you want a tall stem so when you String them, you're going right along the stem. Okay, and we're going to run a string along with wooden stakes that hold them up then. Yep. Well, just want to water them, get them off to a good start. And if it doesn't rain, water them, soak them real good once a week. Just people once a week? Over, people over water, biggest mistake they make, and the plants get disease, and forget it. Tomatoes don't need once a week if you soak them, but if it rains once a week, you don't do anything. Okay. You're putting a little spray on it. Yep. You're, you're not over watering them. Nope. That sun will evaporate off the leaves because since it's the sun's coming up at night, if you do it at night and the leaves are wet, it can produce disease. But after the heat of the day, if you do it six yep. o'clock, is that too late? Um, could water stay on the leaves and cause disease? No, you could do it like six because you still have another two hours. Uh, sun up. The problem you said people overwater them. Overwater them, yep. And they get disease on the bottom of the leaves and spots on the tomatoes and Yep, you get the uh, blossom end rot and you get you get the uh, bacteria and it rots the root sometimes too. So. so right now these are about they're about the height of my hand. And later they'll grow about that high. They'll be about the height of that wheelbarrow. You can see the difference in the bottom three. Now, we planted these about three weeks ago. Right. And look how tall they are. Yeah, they're, they're, they're much taller. They're strong, yeah. They were probably six inches, and this guy's over a foot, maybe 15 inches. Look at that. There's a, there's a grape, to, grape tomato popping out. Look at that guy. Wow, okay. Matter so, of fact, we, we'll, we'll fertilize, too. The other popping out over there, we'll fertilize them this week, too. Okay. Right? Yep. So you you break off the bottom three. Yeah, and if they don't break clean, use yeah. scissors because you don't want to skin. Okay. You don't want right. to skin them. You don't want to skin them. But these are these are perfect. They don't snap. Okay, so we're you're trimming off the bottom leaves. Yep. Bottom three three usually. The bottom three. No, you know what? What do you suggest? This has got to come off. Do you have a little pair of snips? You want to cut that one away? Like, yeah, I don't want to rip that one because it's so low. Okay. So this guy, let's. Show the pruning of that, right? Yeah, it's small, but we'll do it anyway. Okay. This will catch up because we're going to fertilize it. It'll catch up to the other ones. Cool. And I'm going to go get a scissors uh, for that. Yeah, a little scissors. Yeah. Okay. Be perfect. Yep. We're now, here a few days ago. I think we were here on Saturday. And I've got Tuesday. tomatoes on them, so we're going to put the triple 10 on. The tomatoes are going to blow up and plants will take off. We're going to string them. And they're going to do great. What are you doing now? Just, Why is this important? Just cultivating the soil, letting it breathe, 
kind of before we put the fertilizer down so the roots absorb the, uh, the nutrients and everything so now a lot of people make a mistake of flattening it down with their foot and that's nope. not the right thing nope. to do right nope you want the soil to be as loose so the rain and water can get in there and fertilizer can work and another mistake people make, it looks dry, so they water it four or five times a week. Yep. And you say water just once a week, unless it rains. It's extremely dry three, uh, every three days. Just keep that uh, the uh, soil moist, yep. And you just lightly wet it. So it starts ponding, yep. Now people would think that because it's a fruit and it holds water, that more water would be better. Why is that not the case? So you can, uh, put too much water you can rot the roots and if the tomatoes get too much water in they'll lose the uh, sugar content and they'll be they'll be flat they won't have any taste I've had that flatness for yep. years so I'm glad we're here to demonstrate this and uh, yep. soon we'll be stringing them up I got some bamboo poles you could use yep. any stakes but got these from a friend and then we're going to use that twine there yep, and we're going to twine we're going to string them up I'll show you how that how we do that. So you have some poles that are about five and a half feet now, yep. and you're going to drive them in a foot? Yep. So they stick up above the ground how high? I want them about at least four feet out of the ground. And we're going to go to a double nut right there. This is the first tier. As the plants grow, we'll Blood tears to it. Now you have a hole drilled in. Yep. Either side of that stick. What's that do? That's your. That allows you to feed it through as you oh go from gosh. one stick to the other. This is how the boys in East East Vineland uh, guys do it. You wrap it around twice. Yeah. And then you go to the next plant. hold it up hold them up right there it won't matter because we're coming down the other side anyway okay. let me put it through here because that's a tall one okay that little one we can always push through later okay so you lift them up on the string later yep right right now you're concerned about going around the pole twice yep that doesn't matter if that falls over because we're coming back down the other side I'm hitting that. And that double knot locks it in from slipping down. Then we go around here. And this will cradle the plant, give it strength to grow. So you go around another two times. Yep. Coming in the opposite direction. This one will lay everything goes according lay on there. I've seen this type of art before in people's places but had no idea okay. how it was thought out. Yep, South Jersey tomato farmers devise this. I don't know how long ago. String your tomato plants. So they're tomato so that nothing's laying on the ground or rot so your tomatoes don't rot. Two weeks they'll be twice that height and then we'll, then we'll get a second. Right? And then we'll go all the way up to the top. So you don't run the next string until later. Until later, right? Yeah. Okay. Until the plants Why wouldn't you do it now? Will it would it push up against wow, itself? Because and... you want you want the string to be underneath the branches. Okay. So to cradle them and support them. So, let me just tie it off with a double knot, nothing fancy. But there you go, you got your full strength there. Don't they look better already? Standing yeah, up? Uh, you might have to you might have to persuade this guy to come out here once in a while and put them through there because they're going to grow. Yeah. 
And this guy will assist him through. You can see the little, some, little, little we'll herd through, whatever it is. Now yep. there's a beetle on that plant. Is that bad? Right there. Let's she, see what kind he is. No, he's a good guy. He eats other, he eats bad bugs. Okay, he eats that bad bugs. Type, yep. He's a good. What would be a bad beetle? Colorado potato beetle is, and the, is the one that destroys tomatoes. Is that the red ones? They're white with the black stripes going okay. long ways on their body. Now, what about the ladybugs? The orange ladybugs ones. Ladybugs are great. They're good they too. They eat the eggs that the Colorado potato beetle lays. So don't take them off your plate. No, no, they're great. Yeah, that's why when people spray, they're killing the ladybugs too. Next, we're going to put some fertilizer in. 10, 10, and 10. We started with that about three weeks ago when we plowed the ground and before that we put down some lime which sweetens the ground and prevents rot of the root. I've eaten tomatoes in a week. Seriously? Yep. Okay, lime is not needed at this time then, right? No, I might put a little bit since we got all that rain. I mean, sprinkle. And a because the rain is acidic, you need to neutralize the acid. Yeah, is that you why? Want, uh, the pH to be seven. Now, I guess there's a way to test the soil to see where the pH is, but you know by experience, right? Yeah, usually. And we're here in Jersey, the toxic you, state. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when you plant, you can't go wrong. Put some some lime. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm sure um, this is 10 10 10 triple 10 as we call it the uh, it's potash you know now we're nitrogen is 10 potash is 10 and uh, magnesium is 10 magnesium equal parts but you know what this is going to feed the tomato the tomatoes and the blossoms because the plants are and it'll help the structure of the plant too now you're sprinkling it in between are you going to mix that in or just let yeah, it yeah i'm going to mix it in i want to get too close to the roots i don't want to burn them a little bit about four to six inches from the plant see right. the way I would have done it is I would have scratched it all the way around the plant and that would have been wrong that it would have been cooked, too that would have cooked the plant yep yep it would have made it too hot and burn the yep. burn the roots right the nitrogen would have cooked now it. when you burn a plant what are the symptoms what does it look like leaves will turn uh, brown and black and a stem will turn black and it'll just die up die off say like goodbye Yep, that'll be the end. That'll be history. So here we are. These plants are about maybe 17, 18 inches high. And yep. we planted them. They were about this high, right? They were about yep, they were like maybe six, six, eight inches high. Yeah. And one of the things I used to do, it was wrong. I would stomp around the roots thinking I'm helping them. Right. When in reality, I'm smashing the roots yeah. down. And they, they can't travel? Yeah, the roots can't uh, spread out and get the, the fine roots can't, you know, advance as far as get deeper into the soil. That's like stifles them. So leave it aerated. Yep. Every once in a while, like you say, you want to stay away from, you want to stay away from the base of the plant, but you want to scratch it every once in a while, maybe once a week, a week and a half. But really, once they get established, if you see a few some crabgrass coming up, that's the main reason to keep that under control. You can cultivate it a little bit. Be grown tall. So when will we add the second layer of string? I'm thinking about 10 days. 10 days. The way these things are, will, will grow. We'll keep an eye on them. Yeah. So what's today? It's, June 20th, around yeah. June 30th, in 10 days. Yeah, there's a little of them. Little, little tomatoes in there, big cluster of them. And these will last until when? Frost. Till frost? Yep. Meanwhile, we'll post this and teach some people. It's not too late for them to start their plants, right? No, because I'm going to plant my third planting, 4th of July. That'll be it. That's, a, that's about as late as you can plant tomatoes. Okay. And, uh, and people shouldn't bother trying to plant seeds now. They should go no. to some nursery and buy plants. Buy the plants if you can get them, yeah. It's hydrated lime, so that's that goes right into the soil. It doesn't have, it's not slow release lime. It's it's quick lime if you want to put a name on it. So you did this for what reason? I just because we got that heavy, heavy rain, 
and I want to make sure it carries you through till the fall. Through the fall, it keeps soil nice and sweet, which is another way of saying pH. Get the pH right. So. Yep. Let me say it can't hurt the distance that is away. It's going to go in in its own timing. And again, some people would make the mistake to mix it right in the soil around it, and yep, that put it too close. And, and make again, it too alkaline, right? Not only that, that's that's hydrate lime is red hot. Oh, it's hot. That'll burn. That'll actually burn your eyes. It'll burn your uh, your hands. I just want to wet it so it starts releasing the the nutrients in it. Just want to be real gentle with it. Now it's just rain, but still we want to. And you put the fertilizer on the left and right side of each plant. Uh, just on the side, it worked. just one side doesn't just matter. Just one Roots side of each yeah. plant, right? Yeah, matter of fact, I'm, I'm not going to spray them because I don't want to spray the plant. And rainwater, or I like to call it, when God waters, you get all the whatever's in the air, the nitrogen in the air, rather than your well water. It's so much better. So, those are wet, right? Both of them? Okay, wet both of them. Yeah, I've noticed when the lawn is dead and you try to water it with garden hose, whether if it's municipal water yeah. or, or even Oh, the worst water is well municipal because that's chlorine. Chlorine, and, right. Chlorine, plants, that's an enemy to a plant, chlorine. Nothing like, Nothing like the rain, rain that God creates. See the, amen. Yeah. Yep, the God created right, yep. Let's see, where's the, oh, put it over there. Okay. So we're good for 10 days. Yeah, good for 10 days now. If it doesn't rain uh, within the next few days, right? You can, like you said, you can go along with that mister or yeah. whatever you are watering can if you can't reach it. Yeah, the watering can and just don't oversaturate it, but just just enough to you know it's nice and wet because the sun's going to dry the surface out. So. Right. Okay. Cool. I think you're in good shape now. That's going to be a nice get down in them roots now. So.